prankster. He's a new father, and he, you know, now he's really uh, putting more importance on um, impacting the environment, things like that. And he wants to try to buy locally grown as much as possible. But right. you know, we live in Canada. That's not always possible. So I guess he wants to know how do you address this issue, or how do you go about? Is that you know? How do you go about trying to... Well, I think, he, I think he has addressed the issue, and the fact that he's focused on it is, is the most important part. Uh, again, we do live in Canada. We have a short growing season. So when you can embrace it, embrace it. And when you can't, just buy intelligently. You know, buy a, buy a good story, buy a thoughtful story. If you're buying fish, buy sustainable fish. Right. If you're buying meat, buy naturally grass-fed, finished on corn, hormone-free, antibiotic-free. There's a lot of local stories that you can buy throughout the year in that category, yeah, as well as fish. Because it can be frozen. Like, you can't exactly, and then and then you you, you can support uh, Canadian product. You know, they store apples throughout the winter. They store root vegetables and squash. If you really really want to be serious about it, yeah. you you theoretically could do it. Right. But I, I think just the fact that they're they're focused on it is great, and, and uh, I think that's very thoughtful. And what about at, at the store here? Do you try to kind of attention to that? Or? Our fish counter is 90% sustainable. Our meat counter, uh, we bring our meat in from PEI. It's all grass-fed, mm. finished on corn, antibiotic-free, hormone-free, great program. Uh, we have organic chickens. Uh, our cheeses are all naturally made. Most of them are artisan cheeses from Canada, uh, which is spectacular. Our, our deli counter, all our cured meats, are, are you know chemical free? They're all natural, sort of old school in, in terms of preparation. So we we buy that story every time, any time we can. Absolutely, produce is organic as much as we can buy. But again, I suffer from the same the same challenges that a consumer would suffer from on a bigger scale. On a bigger scale, uh, for me to buy organic, uh, usually we're importing it from from other countries, and then it's a bit you know they don't really recognize one another, so you don't know if it's really truly organic. It has a label on it, uh, so it's a bit of a, it's still the Wild West. Right, but you know, you do your best, or people should just, you know. Again, it's, it's imperfect science, but at, at least you're engaged, and that's the main thing.